I'm Dan Mosier, President of Angus Genetics Incorporated. Today we're going to give you some updates on upcoming changes and enhancements to the Angus dollar values. Specifically, we're going to talk today about beef value, a terminal sire index which describes genetic differences in cattle for traits like feedlot performance, feed conversion, and carcass merit. To give you more information on these updates and enhancements to dollar B, here's Dr. Steve Miller, Director of Genetic Research for AGI. The new dollar B model shares many similarities to the existing model and as a result ranks cattle in a similar manner. We looked at the top 200 sires based on um, recent registrations. 183 of those are genotyped. The correlation amongst those bulls, old dollar B to new dollar B, was 0.92, so it's very highly correlated. There are three features in the new dollar B model which are having the largest impact on rankings. One is the slaughter endpoint. The new model employs an algorithm to determine what the economically optimum slaughter endpoint is given economic assumptions. The result is an animal that's heavier and fatter than the overall industry average steer, indicating that increases in quality grade premiums offset the increases in yield discounts at those heavier weights, while preventing overweight discounts. These trade-offs follow those feeders face in real life with every load of cattle they feed. The second feature is dressing percent. The new dollar B model directly predicts differences in dressing yield based on yearling weight and carcass weight EPD. The variation in these two traits is illustrated in the figure shown. As the scatter plot indicates, although the traits are highly correlated in the Angus genetic evaluation at 0.75, there are cattle which clearly show more or less carcass weight given their live weight at a given age. This differential is now impacting cattle value in the new model. The third feature is price grid. The old dollar B model assumed cattle were all marketed on an industry average grid. The price grid utilized in the new dollar B model incorporates a proportion of the cattle being marketed on a grid that rewards more for quality and yield. The old and new price grid are compared and show the greater rewards for both quality and yield with the new grid. The release of dollar values from an improved model is a natural progression for the Angus breed. The current dollar B model has stood the test of time and has served the membership well. Selection on the new dollar B will result in more profitable calves when fed through to slaughter in today's market with payments on a more quality focused grid.